do need backup. That's your department. Here's my boys. I really like the role he plays in this. I like the antagonism with Robert. Is that part of the fun of get, getting come back? Is you know it's just going to be a lot of ball busting. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that is uh, a lot of fun in a movie like this. It's we don't take ourselves so seriously, and I think that's one of the aspects of it that make it uh, a, a lot of fun. Is that we know what it is. It's a big summer entertainment movie, and I think it's that's where it needs to live. I also like that you guys get a lot of action out of the suits this time. Uh, Rhodey's carrying some guns himself this uh, <laughs> this film man yeah it was a lot of fun that was that was a part of it that was 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 really cool to be able to work with the stunt crew and and do all the wire work you know things that I've wanted to do for a long time so it was cool to have the opportunity to actually do that be in an action movie and be in the action it's a uh, it just seems like there's such a sense of play and especially Shane has such a great sense of how to build these sequences to make them not just exciting but also really funny in places yeah um, how is he as a collaborator uh, you know, very open, and, uh, and uh, many were the days, almost all of them, where prior to us shooting, we'd you know, be in Robert's trailer, or we'd just find a little space off to the side of the set where Shane and Drew Pierce, who also co-wrote the film with Shane, and Robert and myself, and Stephen Broussard, Kevin Feige, some compliment of Marvel, would be going through the script trying to figure out you know, the best way to mine it for all of that stuff, and Shane wasn't ever super precious with his words, you know, it was a blueprint and he understood that it was a document that we had to bring to life. You, you and Robert faced a particular challenge in these films of wearing the armor. And I know that to some degree there's CG augmentations and things like that, but working with legacy effects, has it gotten better each time in terms of what you're actually putting on and how it responds to you as a performer? It's gotten heavier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look, it's, as you said, we do CGI, we do motion capture, there's a bunch of different ways that we realize these characters inside of these suits. Sometimes it's a stuntman, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a stand-in. There's just all different ways that it works out. So, you know, it, with all of that together, all of those aspects together create War Machine, create Iron Man. And the days when you gotta wear the turtle, you just gotta wear it. <laughs> 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 um, it's it's strange and and also really lovely to see John as a performer in the movie. You guys didn't really get to play much together though on this one, did you? I never saw John. I saw Gwyneth uh, one scene. A guy and I have one scene. You know. So it's really there's a separate movie that you're in where it's you and Tony having the adventure. Pretty much. And then you know I went I saw the movie in London a couple of days ago and you go oh that's what this whole yeah. movie is. I had no <laughs> idea what was happening in all those other movies. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, uh, it's interesting how clearly Shane's voice uh, was preserved in the film. To some degree, it feels like Marvel might be the most creative-friendly studio in town right now in terms of letting somebody make the movie they want to make. Well, you know, there's an understanding of what has to happen, the sort of Marvel mythology and the, the Bible of that is sort of laid out. And within that, you know, especially bringing Shane out of the, the sort of buddy action genre that he kind of coined, it, you know, he was able to, br to to infuse this huge, spectacular event with some real grounded things and some real humor, and I think that the, the mix of that is what makes this a winning. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.